While in the beginning you said, you know, that uh, we are talking a lot about Gen AI here, you know, if it is still in the early stage, but automation, I mean, AI is a big, you know, and everything is can be super set. It can start with a simple thing like, auto, you said clutch, you know, but in the cars, automatics, you know, they solve that. So automation has, and we have talked a lot about automation. So even if we let go of the buzzword Gen AI or AI at this point, Talk about the, the importance of automation when it comes to data, data, and once again, how any nice is kind of helping with that automation. And by the way, the metaphor of clutch does not necessarily refer to an automation. Uh, I would gearbox. just play on a word, you know, <laughs> yeah, automation. Yeah. But the original intention was that you have two moving parts that you need to join together, and you need to have that place where the friction actually happens. That's where the metaphor comes from. So. In, um, by the way, uh, there are certain uh, electric vehicles like the Porsche Taycan, which still have a gearbox. But nevertheless, um, your question about AI, it's an interesting one. We actually glance into, you know, what are the cloud services you would want to expose and automate over time? And if you think about uh, AI tooling in particular, there, there's a lot of AI tooling that is basically a distributed system with a complex life cycle to manage as well. In that sense, it resembles the definition of data services in, in that it is stateful and distributed. So it could be that we integrate at any nines uh, AI tooling in the future as well. When it comes to um, generative AI in the context of, let's say, coding, I would say it becomes a standard tool that every developer should have access to. Uh, to solve day-to-day -day problems, where we also have to state there are limits to it. So if you're an experienced developer and you're working in a in a deep a deep domain problem where you also have to have this domain understanding and it's non-trivial, you know, the, the outcomes of generative AI is fairly limited. If I, for example, learn a simple language, a new language, and I, I know how to express it, but I'm looking for the syntax. Well, LLMs are a great thing to do and great thing to have. And I think there's an evolution towards becoming more purposeful and more helpful down the road. However, I think, well, with every a trend, there's a certain exaggeration. So I think we'll see a lot of AI-based products downstream, but I'd say it's a, it's a very interesting tool. I use it very often already. But there's still some work engineers have to do themselves.